Hola, I'm Fivers and welcome to Grimlight. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new 4-star hero that has just been released. The new hero is called Morgana. She's a water mage, she does magic damage, and she's a hero from the fairy tale of Arthurian legend. Check my last video about Kang Grim if you want to know more about this banner. Morgana has a deployment cost of 3 crystals, so I will mainly compare her stats with the other mages of this cost. Taking a look at her stats, at level 70, we can see that she has 856 combat power. Comparing her with the other 3 cost mages, we can see that she has the higher defense and standard range, but she has kinda low attack, HP and attack speed. Then the critical rate and the critical damage are the standard values. Her active skill is called Arcana and at level 1 is Morgana inflicts 180% damage in a large area around her target. Enemies hit have minus 10% magical resistance for 10 seconds. All mage allies on the field gain plus 5 energy. The damage of her active skill is not that high, it's pretty similar as the damage of Mad Hatter. So the important thing of her active skill is not the damage, it's the magic defense reduction and the free energy that she gives to all mage allies. So we can clearly see that her ultimate is meant to go first than the other mages of the team. Then, she will help your mages to activate her ultimate sooner and they will deal more damage, thanks to the magic defense reduction. So this skill is a pretty good mage support ability. Her passive is called Wiser with Age, and at level 1 is Every 4 hits, Morgana gains 12% energy recharge for 15 seconds, stacks 3 times. This passive goes perfectly with her playstyle. As I have mentioned before, Morgana needs to use her active skill sooner than the other mages in the team, so then her effects have some use. Thanks to her passive, she can reach 36% energy recharge just by hitting enemies, so I will play Morgana with a combination of attack speed and energy recharge to activate her active skill and passive as max as possible. Morgana has two traits, AoE damage, basic attacks deals damage in a small area, this is the standard trait among mages, and to finish, arcane Knowledge. All mage class allies in the same row as Morgana gain plus 8% attack. Here we have another buff for our mages. Morgana is clearly meant to play in a magic team. Well, how good is Morgana? In my opinion, I think that she's a pretty decent 4 star. She's clearly meant to improve the performance of other mages, so she's not an incredible damage dealer by her own. Her role is to make the magic team even better, that's all. So she can only be played on a magic team with more mages on the field. She is a bad mage if you analyze her by her own performance, so she is not a hero that is going to force you to summon in the banner of Kang Grimm, but if you get her, she will be a pretty good addition for your magical team. Of course, if you like her design or you just want the hero, just pull for her. And that's it for today's video, I hope that I have helped you. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, drop a like and consider subscribing if you wanna see more Grimlight content in the future, and see you in the next video. Ciao!